CT is an amazing clinical tool that's used in a variety of clinical settings uh, throughout medicine to answer a number of questions uh, through a variety of disease states, in a variety of different patient populations, emergency departments, inpatients, outpatients. And it's really such a good tool that its use has increased tremendously over the past several years to the point that now approximately 65 million CT scans are performed in the United States each year. Because of the way the CT images are acquired, it does produce more radiation exposure to the patient than many of the other imaging studies that we do in radiology. And while the exact amount of radiation exposure patients receive varies significantly depending on the body part imaged or uh, the clinical question we're trying to answer or the size of the patient, as a rough rule of thumb, a CT of the chest produces about 100 times that of a normal chest x-ray study or about 20 times that of a typical mammogram study. Along with colleagues at the Center for Evidence-Based Imaging, we were interested in doing a study to look at how much cumulative radiation exposure our patients received over time from re recurrent CT scanning, and also to figure out a sense of how great their risk was of developing cancer from these cumulative radiation exposures. So we started with a group of over 31,000 patients who had received CT scans at Brigham and Women's Hospital or Dana-Farber Cancer Center in 2007. And for each of these patients, we looked back over our 22-year medical records to determine all of the CT exams that each of these patients had had. We found that about a third of our patients had received at least five CT scans in the previous 22 years. Five percent of our patients had had 22 CT scans or more. And the top percentile, one percent of our patients, had had 38 or more CT scans over that 22-year period with an average for all of our patients of over six CT scans apiece. So once we had this cumulative CT history for each patient, we then assigned typical doses for each type of CT scan uh, with each individual body part producing a different typical radiation exposure. And that allowed us to get a cumulative radiation dose history for each of our patients. We then took that dose history and converted to an approximate cancer risk history using some standard techniques that take into account a patient's gender and the age at which they had each of these CT exposures. Well, fortunately, we found that the majority of the patients in our group accrued relatively small cumulative radiation-induced cancer risks. We did find that about 7% of our cohort had had enough cumulative radiation exposure from all of their CT studies over time to increase their cancer risk by 1% or more above baseline. 1% doesn't sound like a large amount of risk, especially when you consider that at baseline, 42% of us in the United States are expected to develop a cancer of some form or another uh, during our lifetimes. Um, but what we really need to think about when we're talking about medical imaging is weighing the risks of the imaging against the benefits of the imaging. And what this study really focused us on is paying more attention to those patients that get a lot of recurrent imaging time and time again in repeat visits to the emergency department or another healthcare setting. When you add up cumulative risks over time, these need to be balanced against the benefits that we expect to receive from the information provided by our CT scanning or other radiology studies. And in some cases where we have a large number of repeat scans performed that may not show new findings, then that risk-benefit balance sometimes changes to the point that it's no longer appropriate or in the patient's best interest to do another repeat CT scan. One of the challenges for our ordering physicians when they order one of these CT scans is it's really difficult for them to get a sense of how much cumulative imaging and cumulative risk their patient has accrued. So one of the tools that we're working on developing here is a, 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 called a decision support tool. And what would happen is when a physician orders a CT scan for one of their patients, what we would do is automatically gather all this information 
count how many CT scans the patient has had, give an estimate of what their total radiation exposure is and what their total cancer risk is from our previous imaging, and create a pop-up screen for the ordering physician in real time to alert them this patient has had enough previous imaging to place them at high risk uh, for developing cancer from our recurrent CT imaging. Does that risk-benefit balance still make sense that you'd like to proceed with this scan today, or is there a different approach that might be preferable? We're currently working on developing these methods, um, and we hope to have a fully implemented clinical system well within the next year.